Okay. So today we're going to look at Open Mamba or Open Mamba, however you want to pronounce it. And this is a independent Linux distribution that comes all the way from Italy. And they make use of KDE Plasma, LXQT. And apart from it not being a derivative, um, they use the RPM package manager. They use DNF and package getters update managers. They seem to support thread packs. And they are, guess what? Another rolling based distribution. And they also have support for the Raspberry Pi, I believe. So let's take a look at uh, the OX before we start going to take too much of a look around uh, this. I think let's be fair and give it an install. Okay, uh, execute. Okay, and of course I make use of the Calamari's installer. So let's get this installed. No, my region is America. LA. Default keyboard, erase the disk, that's fine. I'll just swap to file. Okay, and see it uses ext4 by default, and we are going to install the boot record on the virtual disk. So my name, uh, remember VM, a crazy strong password. We don't want to log it automatically. And let's install this. Okay, all done. So let's uh, restart now. Okay, so desktop, default LXQT, language. So let's log in. You're running, you can configure that. Oh, one step at a time. First thing again, we've got to fix that screen resolution. So monitor settings. Close that. Okay. So this looks to be the uh, checking its all packages. So I guess it's busy. That's what it's doing. Okay. Well, well open Mamba checks packages there. Uh, installed by default. We've got PC Man FM, XQT File Manager, install Open Mamba Live on the movable storage. Okay. Uh, graphics Alex Image, Internet Firefox X11 VNC. Glade for programming, Pulse Audio, System Tools, Discover, Q Terminal, Mumbasoft. Oh no, connection to them must be terminated. Pity. Okay, so uh, really out the box, not a lot, which is fine. Uh, I'm just having next. Oh, okay. Do we want an office package? Uh, yes. Audio, yes. Well, to me, you know, I'm just going to say yes for all of these. Except the base set of packages. Proprietary software source, okay. Winvine, yes. I don't need the VirtualBox one, no. NVIDIA, no, no, no. Yeah. Yes, I just got to give it a couple of moments to install there. While it does that, let's take a look at the preferences. We have the Alex QT configuration center. Right, so here you've got bond settings, open box settings, preferred applications. I'm gonna go to the appearance portion. And of course we have the QT style. Yeah, it's got breeze. I'll put it to Windows, what's gonna do? Ah, oh, my headlight like windows, nice. Uh, breeze dark, let me make that dark theme. Uh, but LXQT themed on it, yeah. Well, let's use arch colors. Why? Because why not? Uh, curse is fine, and there's GTK themes there, okay. Brightness. Monitor settings, desktop, icon sizes, background images, wallpaper images, yay, slideshow advanced, that stuff we do and don't want to show the desktop. And DNF settings, can't obviously get to 
Kokoria because that is a RPM package manager and uh, well, this is busy downloading packages and going to install them so we don't want to interfere with that uh, if we look at the firewall configuration firewall's on by default interesting choice that open box settings okay appearance font mouse doc okay not using that and uh, preferred applications well I prefer a web browser, that's right. Internet. So I can Firefox. Preferred mail client. We don't have one. Okay, and of course if I right click back to the same desktop preferences. I have to say LXQT has come a long way in a short amount of time. It's really looking great. Used about a gig uptime and hardly any CPU usage. So what I'm gonna do now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna wait. That's all we can basically do is we'll I'll come back after the additional applications are installed. Meantime I'll just uh, um, make sure this power settings don't kick in four hours later that's right it took four hours to get all that additional software installed and then that's not my internet connection because i have had it be much faster with others so i don't know what but it looks a bit after we did that entire selection we got quite a couple of games as such so that could have taken times uh, graphics and stored a couple of graphics applications. Internet, just added telecom and Falzilla really. Office, we at least got LibreOffice. Well, I'm interested to see what version it installed. Well, that takes its time. Uh, added a couple of more essential apps under sound. System tools not much really changed except VirtualBox, the open source edition. And added an addition of wine you know so i have no idea why it was so slow um i see we're using 7.6 version of paper office i don't know if it was the in what the hell it was so now that i assume it's all updated let's try using one application and let's use dnf from the command lines let's do sudo dnf update take it repos don't seem to be too slow but they're not the fastest either in the world either uh, i'm just doing dnf from the command line and sisters use rpm base rpm package manager and we'll try and doing any application in a moment now these mirrors are slow from wherever they are so if you're going to try this out, I suggest trying out a different mirror. But even the installation portion I found took so long. But anyway, let's do... I don't think we have new applications still, do we? Then we don't. So let's do sudo dnf install new fetch. And how do I know how to use dnf? Well, of course, it's what uh, Fedora and Red Hat uh, Linux use. So... Neo fetch. Let's make this bigger. Oh, here we go. Okay, so Pulse is open on the release. Rolling. Nurse is on VMware. Fresh 5.2. I'm not using too much memory. Interesting. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, so. Let's install sudo dnf install htop yes so installing small little applications is okay if here we go 862 megs of ram really not too much ram is being used well, a little high considering 
is supposed to be the lighter desktop interface. You could then, you know, normal KDE has evolved so much you could almost use that. Uh, check the eight comments. I'm probably going to get for that. Uh, what I am interested in seeing though is the Discover package manager. I think we've got in here as well. Yeah. Now we people that know this channel probably know I'm not the world's biggest fan of Discover. But I am interested. So they do have Flat Hub available out the box as well. Which is really interesting, which basically means you can install anything with this. That's on Flat Hub. So if I let's say I choose Elisa, the music player, and I click on it, nothing happens. Of course, nothing happens. Uh, let's go here, let's go to shortwave, click install, and it's going to install the flat back. Mm, give that a couple of moments. A few more moments and to install. Yeah, and that's, of course, installing at a more respectable speed. But of course, that's coming from the flat hub store. X mode. Let's check that. And I'm uh, being impatient. Almost done downloading this. Oh, I was interested in seeing what the six month are. Oh, that's kind of pretty cool. I didn't realize this was called X motor actually. I haven't tried this in years. I need to install this mine install. Great, it's fine. Ah. Let's close that. Uh, other game I wanted to check out was Tux Football. Oh, that's the uh, not going well. Okay, that's interesting. Just wanted to know what those look like. Okay, so let's um, actually log out and the load in the second or two. So, who's this for? Well, you want to try a different type of a rolling base distribution and you don't want to be in the crowd of everything else well there's this distribution for you make sure you configure it for marissa to a little bit faster than i had and you know make your decision whether you want to use lxqt or whether you want to use normal kde and if there's software that's not in the repos because you probably will find that then you can just uh, go ahead and use uh, flatpak so why not if you're really familiar with a uh, DNF package manager that uh, RPM distress use, why not? Go ahead. Folks, I'm going to end this here. This has been uh, long enough and uh, slightly painful. So leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. As always, bye for now.